Hello and welcome to me, Dazblade, and my adventures in Minecraft. Okay, it's come to my attention that there's some people out there that actually don't, do not like time lapses. So, with that in mind, um, I'm going to do a bit of terraforming behind this greenhouse, uh, behind me, as you can see. Um, but I'm not going to use speedy time also known as a time lapse of course um i'm going to do it a, a bit differently i hope you enjoy bouncing on pistons is fun <laughs> it is really fun anyway stop messing about gotta get back to work so i've made a bit of a start on this terraforming around here um it's okay. I think what we want to do is get rid of this column two. That. Do the same on the other side. Um, don't think I'm trying to make it symmetrical. Why am I doing that with an axe? <laughs> Use the pick. Yeah, so I, I don't think I'm trying to make it so magical, but it's just kind of happening. I didn't want that to go there, did I? Just on it. A bit of dirt here, so we can just look that back in. Yeah. I think we're going to have to take a bit of this uh, back wall down, aren't we? Um, so we can make a good start on the terraforming so what i think i'll do is that if i just make a start on this flat area here and then i can do the sides into it when i see what we're working with so let's uh let's get cracking on with this so we've made a bit of progress but still quite a lot more to do. So let's uh, crack on with it, shall we? And we'll just take a quick nap here. We don't want no mobs coming up, sneaking on us. Those pesky creepers, I tell you, get me every time. And yeah, so we've done a bit more. We kind of get in there but it's um it's taking its time but we'll get there let's crack on with it okay we're making a lot of progress progress however we've still got a lot to do um most of this is going to be dirt as well so we still got to replace all this uh, stone with dirt the good thing about using uh, doing this though is that uh, using my silk touch pickaxe i can get loads of stone which I can now trade with my new mason traders. So yeah, that's all good. And I'm gonna need to as well, cause look at my tools. They're gonna be needing repairing soon. So, okay, let's get back to it. Okay, let's quickly get our tools repaired, ready for the next lot of digging and terraforming. So that's all our tools repaired so let's get back to the grinding terraforming is fun not <laughs> oh gosh well spent a bit of time uh, i've made it look a bit better um it's not really completed yet but it doesn't look too bad it's starting to take shape and i think it's gonna look all right but i need a bit of a bit of a sleep i need a bit of a sleep back on back on to sleep oh that's a lot 
But, uh, yeah, so I think I need a bit of a break from the terraforming now, so we'll move on to something else. You know what? I've been thinking about it, and I think the enchanting area, or library, library, enchanting area, we call it both. Um, I think it'll look actually better in in this area here. I mean, we've got like a, loads of room to work with, and we can do more than just have an enchanting area in. You know, an enchanting area could go in one, just, you know, a small part of it, and um, we can put other bits and bobs around it. But, yeah, I think that's probably the best way to go. Also, the reason as well for not doing it over there is because that's where the AFK fish farm is. And I'm thinking that if we start putting bookshelves in there and whatnot, you know, that's going to block the light and that'll break the AFK fish farm. So, definitely, we'll do the enchanting area in here. I'm not going to do that just yet, though, because I think it's about time we got this building completed. It's been in this state for, oh, since almost the beginning, really. I mean, it was one of the first things I built, so it needs to be completed. So I'm going to crack on with that, and I'll be back with you soon. And just like that, the incomplete building is no longer incomplete. What have I done here? Get, get, yeah, there we go. The incomplete building is no longer incomplete. It's now completed Let's just take you on a quick look inside the roof is done all nicely sealed yeah I'm, I'm quite happy with that let's have a look from a different view yeah looks all right it's complete no longer the incomplete building it is now a completed building which is nice Okay, okay, I know, I know, I said it was complete, but I've just put a little final few touches to it. Let's go and just have a quick look. So, put these little uh, chains here. I think that looks, uh, I think that looks quite cool, actually. And I've added, I got rid of the torches and put some lanterns in here to light it up and same in here put some lanterns in there to light it up now although we finally got this little starter house completed at last i don't want to live here i don't i don't want to live here i wanna i want to live up there in a big house or a castle or a mansion or something something cool um i say that because as i was terraforming this it kind of just sort of developed not into terraforming but more into these look like stairs don't they this could be like a, a, a giant staircase and i've kind of flattened out a large area above let's just take a quick look so i'm thinking that could be like another floor or i could fill it in or i could just leave it i mean it's clear that's not natural generation that I've filled in s certain parts of it to give it this kind of shape. Um, we can incorporate this into it. This could become um, an interesting little addition. So, yeah, I'm going to build something up here and we're going to live up here. And that little starter house down there, that means I'm going to have to move all the chest storage stuff and bring it up here hmm but this is going to be a big place so we should have plenty of room for chest storage and okay we have a quick look over there i've been doing something over there because um i'm gonna do something pretty nice over there um it's got some gold in it some copper in it some black stone and some brickwork and it looks kind of kind of nice but it's nowhere near completed to what we're going to actually do there but that's for another time what um i actually want to do now um like i said is i want to live up there i do i do i want to live up there i want to live up there i'm so excited um what we're going to do around here 
above this greenhouse is we're going to well first of all i'm gonna to go to sleep let's go to sleep get some shut eye come on and there we go okay oh have another little look at that so we can see it uh, a bit better now yeah it looks all right i'm quite happy with that but yeah in here we want to get our enchanting area sorted out i've moved everything i'm gonna be needing to do this into my chest there um yes it doesn't look like there's much there but you know i don't want it overcrowded but i do want a lot of stuff in it is that a contradiction in terms who cares i don't know probably is but yeah let's um let's get some stuff done in here and get some enchanting area built at last <laughs> Okay, let's see where we're at. So I've decided to go with these hanging, hanging bookshelves and hang, hanging enchanter. Just because, well, you know, I think it looks quite cool. Um, we know we're near done yet, but at least we've got the enchanter set up correctly and it all works. What? Don't believe me? Oh, let me just show you then. So... Bang that in there, bang that in there, and we've got the 30 levels. I'm not going to enchant this um, piece of rubbish here because <laughs> I've got all the bows I need. But yeah, I just use that for demonstrating purpose to make sure I'm getting the full levels and it's all all, all okay and all okay and wicked. It's all good. So yeah, I thought um, I thought that was a good idea to have them, have them hanging from the ceiling like that. And we're going to have various shelves uh bookshelves around here but we're gonna use those other bookshelves um what are they called do, 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 yeah, i got some in my chest let's see what they're called chiseled bookshelves because you may or may not know but in a chiseled bookshelf you can put books in there i think they can hold each shelf can hold six books so i want to move all the enchanting books and put them into some kind of order so we could have like a row of mending ones a row of fortune and efficiency and and so on and so forth you get the idea and yeah i think that's um i think that's gonna look quite cool so let's get cracking on with this thing let's take a quick peek to see where we're at shall we um i'm quite happy with the way this uh, library enchanting area has come out um, it's looking pretty good, so let me show you what I'm talking about. So, we've got all the books. I mean, the only thing that I don't like about this, which I think is going to be a bit of a pain later on, but, uh, you know, that's a problem for future Jazz to deal with, but I can foresee me getting a bit irritated with it. So... Wouldn't it be nice if you hovered over a book, it tells you what it is, but it doesn't. So, I mean, I've got the signs up here saying what's in this, um, what's in this column. However, to actually know what the book is, I will have to remove it like so. So that book is um, sharpness free, is it? Or is it lurking in the bed? It, oh, it's an Impaling 4 book. That's what we're using that one as. Okay. Okay. But, yeah. Um, little uh, use blackstone, polished blackstone wall to get this um, sort of like reinforcement um, effect. And obviously a chain and lantern hanging down. Um, did that all the way up there as well. It just gives it the feel of... Um, of it's being reinforced and the chain's not coming from the glass, especially for this one here where we've got double bookshelves, which you would expect to um, have reinforcement on them to hold that weight, I guess. Um, lots of chains in here, but you know, I I'm happy with that. It it's the desired effect, you know. That's that's what I was going for in here. Floating, uh, floating library bookshelves, hanging from the chains. And yeah, looking looking pretty cool. We've got the um, uh, crafting table here. We've got a uh, um, uh, what's it called? <laughs> Come on, 
Get on it. Anvil. Anvil. We've got the anvil here, and we've got this thing here that uh, so we can disrepair it, repair and disenchant. Um so we've got everything we need in here. We've got all our lapis in there. Still some working materials in there. So I might still do a, a, a few bits and few bits and bobs. As you can see, I've left that blank because got nothing in there yet. Um, protection and flame, and when I say flame, that includes anything to do with fire as well. I, I mean that's by far the most uh, full bookshelves at the moment. So, yeah, that looks uh, quite good. Oh, yeah, put some little railings up there because I thought when, when I initially tried the hanging signs on the glass block, it just looked too far away and it didn't, just didn't quite look right. So I put a row of iron railings across and then hang the um, hanging, um, hanging signs from the rails and it, it looks better now because it, the, each sign is above each column and the two either side of the middle one gave them a slight angle you can make the angle even more uh even more defined than that but i thought just the slight angle like that just sets it off nicely and here we go around this end looting fortune multi shot quick charge oh no Oh no, that hurts my eyes. Why haven't I done that in capital letters? Oh dear. Let's get this sorted out. Because, uh, you know, it's got to stay consistent. Don't want it to... Uh, don't want anything that's going to hurt your eyes. Like, that was hurting my eyes quite a lot. And there we go. That's better. All's good in the world of Dasna. Oh yes. Right, um, as I say, I think, yeah, I might do a few more bits and bobs um, around here, but I don't think it needs too much more doing, you know, I might just uh, scatter a few bookshelves around. And I was deliberate, deli deliberate, did de it, de uh, that word, decided, decision making, on whether to get rid of these bookshelves from here, these, these here and these here. Because then that will make this floating area look even uh, look uh, stand out better, I guess. I haven't decided on that yet. I probably probably have to have a check to see what it looks like and and then decide. But yeah, we're more or less more or less done in here. And the good thing about this as well is that you can see straight down into the wheat farm, so you know when the um, when to go and push the button, so to speak. But I think. The next thing I want to do is the build that's going to be over here. I think we've probably got time to get that into this episode. So, as you can see, um, this is black wool. Oh, don't you love that sign? Yeah. Listen to that. I love that sound. <laughs> that is a brilliant sound, walking on wall. Um, so this is kind of like a, a plinth or of, of sorts. Uh, use bricks to get these little brick columns. Um, again, here we've got um, polished blackstone wall. Got some chains going across. And also around here as well, I've done underfloor lighting these are slabs and these torches under there to light that area up same with basically same round on on, on all the sides but this is going to be the main entrance sort of thing well i say an entrance it's um yeah i suppose you could call it an entrance but that will give you an idea of what's coming here hopefully but it's going to be facing that way so yeah um go on then let's make a start on it okay time for a little break so i can show you what i've got so far let's just take a, a step back a bit and yeah it's coming along nicely can you guess what it is yet can you hmm <laughs> 
Okay, let's let's move this scaffolding. Maybe that might um, make it look a bit here. Oh, I love that sound. Quite a few sounds that I love, but I do like that sound. So let's uh, a bit further back this time. Hmm. It's uh, yeah, it's coming along nicely. I might have to make a few block changes here and there, but I'm hoping it'll become more obvious as I start building it up. But I'm uh, I'm happy with that. Yeah. Can you guess what it is? Okay. Right. I'm going to get back to work on this, and I'll bring you back a bit later for an update. Progress has been made. So let's uh, take a look. Let's have a little update on what's happening. Uh, no prizes for guessing what it is now, because you'll, you, well, you should know what it's going to be. Just got to, that's more or less the front. I'm not sure if I'm happy with the arm just staying down the side there. Um, I might do something with that eventually, maybe. Um, I'll have to see. I just want to get it all all finished, and then we can um, we can have a proper look at it and and decide whether whether to do something with that arm or not. It might look okay. It might not. And just for reference, it's a one one scale, so one block equals one pixel, and. <laughs> To be honest, I, I'm glad I did that because I was considering doing two, three, or even four blocks. But can you imagine how I would be and how big it would be if I did that? I think this should be big enough for the purpose that it's going to serve. So I'm going to crack on, get this finished, and I'll be back with you shortly. Okay, so we're more or less um, done now. Um, apart from one little thing, which uh, we'll get to in a moment. Um, I just want to explain um, about this build. Obviously, you, you, you know what it is now. Um, now, it doesn't doesn't look exactly like me, so it's more of a, a, a replica, if anything. Um, it's just down to the uh, materials that are available and, and the way I had to build it. Um, but if you look around, I've placed... Um, approximately 11 blocks away from the front, the sides and the back lightning rods because obviously with all this wool we don't want it being struck by lightning and we don't want it catching fire so I can't wait for a thunderstorm to come along and see the lightning coming down a around this statue um, but yeah, so let's have a look at some uh, different views of this bearing in mind that close up, it doesn't really look that good. This is one of those. Um, this is one of those things where it, it looks better from further away. Uh, so it, it does look. It does actually look quite cool from from a distance. Not so cool, but still okay from close up. So let's have a look from some different angles, shall we? So looking at it from the front, um, we can see we've got the. Uh, the letter D there on the t-shirt which is slightly wider than the actual letter D and I actually think it looks better like that you know so I might actually um, I, might, I might redesign my avatar to um, reflect this version of the letter D because yeah and, and the reason why I had to make it a bit wider is because of what's going there which we'll come to when we've look at, looked at all the different views so in my hand I'm actually holding um, what I wanted to be um, a lightning bolt, basically. That that was the uh, the general idea uh, of that. But yeah, so this is the uh, this is the front view, and I think that looks okay. So here we have the side view um, from the hand that's actually oldening, old, oldening, oldening. <laughs> me and my words. Oh dear me. Um, holding. Um, what's supposed to be kind of like a lightning bolt um, think Greek gods, think of Zeus I believe who has a um, lightning bolt kind of weapon um, that was the uh, that was the idea behind behind that and as you can see as well you can see the uh, the lightning rods 
um, circling almost like a crown. So I, actually, I can't wait to see um, when, when it thunders and lightnings and see the lightning coming down on, on those. That should look pretty cool. And looking at it from the rear view, um, got all, all the shape. Um, I just stuck with um, a solid brown colour for the air. Um, I couldn't really uh, get any textures that, that actually work. Well, in my opinion anyway. So yeah, looking good from, from behind. As you can see, the little detail on, on the belt, the the buckles, just like on my real avatar. So that is looking quite nice. So just one more view to check out. And here we see the other side view. And yeah, I think it uh, I think it looks looks okay. And as I say, it needs to be um, properly appreciated. Uh, for, oh god, I'm, I'm all over the place. Stop falling all over the place. It needs to be properly appreciated uh, from a distance. That way, you get uh, you, you you get to see it, um, see the look of it a, a lot better rather than when it's uh, close up. Okay, so there's only one more thing left to do now. And if you can guess what it is, this has been in my head for quite a quite a long time. I'm glad I'm finally it's finally coming to fruition. But let's just have a look, see what we've got in here. Ooh. What's that you say? It's a flint and seal, I say. That's what it is. What do we use a flint and steel for? That's right. It's portal time. This is going to be our never portal. And then, obviously, we'll have to have another look from the front view. So, here it is. This better work after all this. And it has. Right. Let's see what it looks like now. Back down. Oh, that looks really nice. I'm really liking that. Yep, yeah, I'm quite happy with the way this has come together. Um, obviously, we're going to need wings now pretty quick because it's going to be a bit of a hike, isn't it, getting up to the uh, up to the portal all the time. But once it's got wings, it can fly straight through into that into that D, land there, and pop into the never whenever. So yeah, okay. Brilliant stuff. Really happy with that. So, that brings us to the end of this episode. I hope you've enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And don't forget to leave any comments in the comments below. Anything you want to suggest or any suggestions on the statue or of, on any of the builds. All feedback and constructive criticism is welcomed. So, I'll catch you in the next one. Bye!